Good day and welcome. <laughs> Very good. Man, that was really good. Oh, yeah. Good day and welcome to the Hat Chat Podcast. That was Matthew Weir or where? Um, it's spelled spell like wear, like wearing W-E-L, clothes. Yeah, but either like way, wear and tear. He did it. He bloody did the <laughs> the ball theme, which we requested, and nice. it's it's hilarious and also a little bit underwhelming. But what do we expect? I think know? that's part of the, the charm. I right? think yeah. so. Um, do you know what else we didn't expect? What? It's slightly underwhelming. Oh, what was that? Our special guest today. Hey. Very underwhelming. Yeah, <laughs> unexpected too. Gosh, I was just gonna play Hearthstone all day. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> you're not gonna wear your turtle hat today then? No, I didn't bring it with me. Oh. Wait, what's your name? That's that's what we always forget. My name? Yeah. What, like, um, do yeah. I have to make up? Whatever. Just, the just, people that maybe listen yeah, to this yeah, podcast yeah. That's, that's never heard of us or you. Hey, uh, my name's Sips. I stream all the time. Twitch TV dot, uh, wow. dot TV slash Sips. And uh, i got a YouTube channel and uh, social media. And uh, what, however You else? love Excellent. Element as Perfect. a product? I love Element as a product. <laughs> I, I, I love it. I can't get enough of Element as a product. <laughs> what would you say your favorite uh, Element is? Real quick. Uh, Real quick. Just oh, the, 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 the power of the moon? Um, no, I mean, like, like science. <laughs> uh, the power of the uh, moon? <laughs> is that an Element? All right. Well, I'm Alex Smith. Be. I'm Ross Hornby. I am Chris Trott. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Just in game. case new people watch. Do you guys like plug all your stuff as well? Like, don't we forget, do. you gotta like speak really fast too. Like, don't forget to be follow me on socials. No. Uh, we mostly we mentioned, do that about Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. We, we really mentioned Patreon, Patreon because right. that's what basically funds this. Right, so, okay. um, if you are watching and you are funding, us, thank you. Table. Do you have a yeah. Patreon for Triforce? No, yeah, we do now. You do yeah. now. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, that's your other podcast. Yeah, lovely. So that rakes it in. I tell you, does it really? Wow. No. I don't think we've been paid for it yet. Oh, okay. Oh. I think Lewis just puts just all the money in his, the cash. in his Scrooge McDuck. McDuck <laughs> he just has a giant <laughs> pool of cash. Of and then yeah, makes same. up a new method of spreadsheets yeah, to yeah, somehow calculate the payment. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, so that works. Well, I've got this weird, crazy formula I've put into this spreadsheet, and uh, you get 30p. Yeah. 30 pence? Yeah. I know it's a bit underwhelming, but the spreadsheet don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's got formula and everything. Uh, so basically, we'll be going through random stories today. We don't have any real specific themes. Uh, unless what, there's anything what, you really want to get off yeah. your chest, Sips, of course. Um, no, I'm anything good. you want to voice, you can you use can this as a platform. You can speak shit about Pyrian and oh. Lewis on this podcast oh, if you, you can. want. In fact, we're, we're actively encouraging it. We are we really. need controversy. The you internet want runs on controversy. Yeah. good drama. Yeah. Right. We had that thing. I don't know if you guys remember when we had that sub war or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. We yeah. could do like a Patreon war. Oh, okay. Yeah. We could Give do. us all a boost. Yeah. Mm. And That'd then be good. we could like, you know, buy a yacht together. And <laughs> yeah. Finally. finally yeah. Go rowing together. Yeah. Do, um, it's so hard to get a yacht. Yeah. Get the ludes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't have anything on my chest. Ah, um, yeah, not actually, that I can think. I, there's nothing really grinding my gears right now. Pretty Pretty quite chill Is this like person? a political thing? Like you no, guys sometimes know. we go into that. You guys that. go in deep. They're less popular well, than when we just yeah. act like idiots. But right. Okay. Like I mean, like what what's what's the situation on Jersey at the moment? Is the weather nice? Yeah. It's yeah. really bad. The taxes yeah. great. The taxes yeah. are doing great, aren't they? The other night, yeah, the taxes are good, yeah. So, so the other night, like normally in the evening, I go back out to my garage, okay? Right. Because it's like my man cave. With air conditioning. It's got air conditioning in the summer. It's got heating in the in the winter too. So Terry will survive and stuff. Mm. So I'm out there. (laughs) I've been playing like a bit of COD and stuff, and Mm -hmm. I've been playing like you know some Hearthstone and and whatever. And it was like one in the morning. I take my headphones off because I heard this like fucking loud ass noise. Mm. Take off my headphones. And it was hail, and it was just like going like, oh right. I was like, oh fuck, it's hailing again. But then it started ramping up. It was like, really? And it kept going, and I was like, fuck me, like maybe <laughs> like the world is ending or something. I opened the door and look outside, and it was just like I couldn't even see. There was just really? so much fucking hail Jesus. coming down, and it was like thick on the ground too. When was this? Did it like, your two car? nights ago. That bad? Two nights ago. Yeah, yeah. No, it didn't. Well, I don't think so. Well, it's Some people get like it's hard golf to tell, ball like, sized hail. Piece of shit. So oh, okay. It's like always damaged. It already had a load of chips and dents. So, in yeah. it. so yeah, heavily yeah. textured with dents. Honestly, that, that looks better. String, <laughs> like, indented into it. My uh, son did silly really? stuff all over the windows oh, and the lie. siding and stuff. It, it doesn't come off. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so yeah. What kind of car is it? It's a uh, Renault Megane Scenic. Oh, oh. Uh, Scenic. circa 2001. So it's 2001. Oh nice. wow. Is it hard Vintage. to get cars on the island? Is that why it's such no. an old shitter? No, no. <laughs> it's a fucking rich island. There's like no BMW dealerships. And but you just don't drive enough to warrant getting anything else. No. Have you thought about getting an electric scooter? Yeah. No, not a scooter. I've thought about getting an electric car. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. My sense. wife is like doesn't want one. Why not? Why? 
Oh, she thinks they're just for pussies. Like, <laughs> she, she, what, she, on a Renault <laughs> Megane scenic <laughs> isn't? Well, she just a no, Renault Megane like, scenic covered in silly string. Yeah, but it's got, <laughs> that's not for pussies. That's a loud <laughs> petrol engine though, right? So is it, you, is you it serious? There, you Are you being serious? <laughs> she doesn't I mean, want an electric car because of the noise that the Renault Megane makes. Well, that, <laughs> I, I can understand if she had like a V8. That was the excuse at the time. Right, yeah. So I've had- Oh, I missed the growl. I've working on her for years now, trying to like get around this idea, you know? Like automated, you can like check on the kids. Cars, well, so the latest one was, what if we had solar panels yeah. like on our roof? Amazing. You can charge her in batteries. Because we're going to maybe yeah. get a loft conversion, so we'd have to do stuff with the roof. Anyway. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So I was like, get some fucking panels on there. Make sure you're there. speaking to this microphone. Get some fucking not panels on there. Not been boosted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll, uh, and then we can, we can fill up the car at the same time. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So wow. we might be oh, there. there. That'd be go. awesome. That, you that's also need to invest in like a, a battery, a Tesla battery as well. Potentially. Maybe Potentially. Tesla solar. I mean, I don't you, know can sell, those. you can sell excess energy back to, to the, the grid, grid as you? well. So I could become like a... A baron of a electricity. Baron of power. Electric, like yeah. A power. A Tesla power baron. baron. A power baron. Man. And then you just end up f just covering everything in solar panels. Yeah. Just, just put one on the back of your tortoise. Yeah. That'd Another, good, I, yeah. I just want to say one more thing about being in my garage late at night with my of headphones course. on. Okay. Sure, okay. Oh, no. I watched one of these videos. Have you guys ever heard or seen these videos where it's just like, it'll be a video of like a snake in a zoo or something. Um, but then somebody's put in a fucking knocking noise. But no. it's like super oh, right. and you're like, crazy high definition knocking noise. That's so like and, binaural. And it'll yeah. play like in one ear and then the other. So I why a snack? actually almost shit my pants. Why you, what, what, I was a troll video. Yeah, yeah. They just that. put it on any right. old video. So you're watching some video and then you just hear this loud knock and it's like, fuck, somebody's outside. Like, <laughs> scare the shit why out of me. Why were you watching like, snakes? But apparently zoo. like people do it to like other streamers. Oh, just to oh, shit okay. them up. Okay, so they'll send you them a should clip be, You should buy a gun because I, that I, way got one. you've got a gun. Yeah. What kind of gun? The light gun for the Nintendo. Right, but, um, you know. But I imagine the reaction I painted you could it have. to make it look realistic. So if somebody ever came in, <laughs> you, oh, that's good. Took the orange bit off. Yeah. It's orange realistic enough that armed police would shoot you if you were wielding it. Yeah, in a public if I got place. Swatted, that's I'd the target. Isn't yeah, that's yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah. They come to the door. You whip out the light gun. I got the VR shoot. Thing yeah. on <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot on sight. Take him down. He's got high tech yeah. from DARPA. He's a goddamn robo soldier. Does Jersey get many swattings? Um, not not like none that make it to the news. It's like secret swatting because right. I've seen a swat happen. Have you? Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, I was walking back from the store with my son one time. Yeah. There's like all these cars outside a house, and I was like, "What the fuck's going Is on it an here?" Expensive house. And they had fucking machine guns and everything. Oh wow! Jesus. And yeah. Are you sure they weren't Nez? Light guns. Yeah. Well, no, they weren't. Guns. They were like real guns. They're real ones. Yeah, and I made that joke. It's like, hey guys, wrong house. I live down there. <laughs> I didn't make. They're like, sir, get down. Picture you just next to a bunch of guys with the military gear on. Make cracking like, jokes. Hey guys, hey, my guys. house is down the my road. I loved it though. He's like, wow, what's going on? I was like, uh, let's go down this way instead. So you need to understand that some people live on this island for different reasons. Yeah. Mm. This is a this is an electricity baron here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think they do do have some SWATs occasionally, oh, okay. but it's not a regular thing. It's it not, like it, not, not like the mainland. You guys are swatting like, it's like 100 SWATs a day. Over At there. least. Are there SWATs That's in Bristol? I mean, have you heard of any SWATs it's happening a, in Bristol? It's a real problem. Mm. Like, all the time. It's always, always yeah. in the news. It's wild. Yeah. That's why we got locks on it's this door. It's the agenda. It's like the, yeah. you know, the tabloid press. They're, they're trying to push this swatting like yeah. happening yeah. all the time. They love just it. to show yeah. that the police are doing stuff. 21,000 new police mean. jobs. Yeah. They're all going to be SWAT, aren't they? They're all going to be SWAT. <laughs> SWAT team tacticians, <laughs> yeah. Jumping on streamers. Okay, I bet you they're all fucking orphans, too. Oh, no. Oh, God. You so if you orphans. don't understand that reference... It's a re it's a joke. <laughs> somehow. Sick, Jesus. Somehow. Well, somehow. It's an orphan joke. Which well, I still remember that as well. Yeah, right. Oh, weird? fuck, it was so funny. I don't know why. <laughs> Goddamn God orphans. We really hated on orphans. Damn, where are your parents? <laughs> Man, we went on about that for like half an was hour. Was that GTA? Time. No, that was Must Skyblock. Oh, was it really? Was it that was as far back as Skyblock we yeah. first started joking Jesus. about it. 2015. Yeah. It might be a GTA. I was well. still in my office for that. Oh, yeah. Still, yeah, I still used to work. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, that office room. And you had your cleaner come in now and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, like good days. Hello, Mr. Sips. You want the quiz, please? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking orphans! <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Sips. Oh, Mr. Sips, <laughs> I came to this country. <laughs> oh, paid a well, I hope. You did pay a well. Yeah. Sips, uh, did you do... Um, did you do any fa anything fancy for a gender reveal for your kids? Or did you just kind of read a piece of paper and say, that's that's that? Because Did you know what your kids were before they were born? Uh, yeah, we found out. Yeah, yeah. some people don't like to do that. Mm. But no, we wanted to know what we were getting. Surely it helps you to buy yeah. things. Yeah. 
Right? Yeah, I think that's it. If you're I setting up a room, sensible. right? What yeah. do you mean? Are you trying to impose a agenda on the child? Yeah, I think it's simpler for them if they have some basis rather than like not knowing anything. Well, they don't know anything. At that well, they can make right? a different decision further down the line. It's up to them. But as they, a baby, they don't know. But you get an action, man. <laughs> um, like naturally, without any sort of like conditioning or whatever, they gravitate towards like you, the traditional things. Like my son wasn't interested in girl stuff sure. or like traditional did girl you, stuff. Did you? But we never, we never like stopped him. Like right. yeah. if we went to a toy store and he was like looking at girl stuff, we would leave him. And he didn't he, if he wanted anything. to buy, <laughs> don't touch him. Don't touch to him. Buy anyway. something like we would buy it for him. Okay. But he would always just go over to like guy stuff do you think yeah. that's because and my daughter's the same do you think that's because you already had stuff for them and then they got used to that stuff and when they went to the toy store they just went to the stuff they already understood uh, maybe I, we got these like chairs at home that have like these dishes above them and we strap them into those and yeah. send i've like, heard of uh, send them to space waves through into oh the right so right, right. Keep the ah, yeah. what a mess yes yeah sometimes they do yeah we play beatles records backwards to them oh, right. uh, all night long while they're asleep perfect and uh we also flash uh disturbing imagery <laughs> to their eyes while their eyes are wide so they're pretty open. hard <laughs> so, so yeah. clock of orange i can see why he got so stuff. excited yeah. at a swatting yeah, yeah. <laughs> so no no, it's it's weird though. Like uh, like like it comes up. Like people sort of mention it a lot because I guess nowadays it's like you know there's there's people saying oh, I don't want to assign a gender to my child. Push or something onto them. As well. But I, I like in my experience, maybe my kids are not normal or something. But it's a pretty good chance they, of that they seem to yeah they seem to be traditionally sort Going of like aligned to the things right, you'd expect yeah. them to be sort of thing but the biological path yeah now the, the neither of us care though like if they decided that like if my son wanted to wear dresses cool you can you know i don't yeah. i don't care just save money but yeah. you will laugh at him hand me downs well yeah <laughs> Um, so the reason that uh, Ross asked, I'm guessing, is because yeah. of this gender reveal plane story. Yeah, and because um, this uh, the article what says, link. how many people have to die before we're done with gender reveals? Gender reveals. Um, do you know what they are? So well, they're, they're just like a, an event, a party, or something where they'll. It's got to be an American. Thing, it is. Right? Yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah. It's not a Canadian. I think it's, thing. It's, no. it's it's definitely becoming more of a global thing for some reason. Um, but recently there was a a plane crash which was <laughs> announcing a gender reveal uh, and, what? and yeah there was unfortunately what do you mean it, it was an intentional plane crash no I don't the, no I don't think that was no <laughs> I feel like that definitely flames. wouldn't have been authorised by anyone it's a boy so if it's a boy it's crashed blue. a plane if it's a girl it's pink normally and yeah for some reason it's an exciting thing to tell all your friends whether you're having a boy or a yeah. girl however in Arizona they did an explosion Right. Um, of blue, which set forty-seven thousand acres of, of <laughs> land on fire. Yeah. Right, and then more recently in California with the jet, yeah, the, with the, the, plane, yeah. the there was somebody who, they were dumping stuff out of a plane, mm -hmm. but they had a problem and the plane just crashed into the ground. Um, yeah. I don't. It does seem an odd thing to spend money on, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it like, does. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, a pipe bomb. Like when we found out, we just sort of said, "Okay, it's a cool. boy." Yeah, yeah. All Build right, the pipe bomb, honey. Carry on with our lives, like happy, it's healthy, and, uh, not and spend uh, a lot of money on crashing a plane or yeah. anything like that. Like yeah. It's, that seems crazy, it's but a bit that's a very like. I, f I feel like Americans are like overboard with that kind of stuff, right? Like with baby wanna, showers, yeah. and there's always a fucking party that you have to have people over to your fucking house <laughs> for and stuff, and it's like, all right, okay, we get it. You want to celebrate every goddamn thing that happens in your life, like oh, shit. I did my grocery. Let's have a grocery shop. <laughs> I did the groceries today. Oh, Let's kids, have a party celebrate. about it. Like, I wonder why that is though. Why I think it's a social media I, thing. This this. It's a social media. No, but thing. before that, like, like you say, Americans like baby like, showers and things gone yeah, to town so. on these things and made them really big events. But uh, it's, it's just a, a capitalist society. Yeah. Like, I mean, we're we're happening? we're capitalists as well, obviously. Before anyone goes, wow, well, wait a minute. But like, I don't know. It's like it's nice to celebrate things, I guess. Like, I think that as British people, we're probably quite subdued. Yeah, that type of thing. So it's not thing. a big deal. Whereas, yeah, like, there's an underlying misery to yeah. this. Society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think Canadians. What are we share celebrating? It, I think the Canadians share it to an extent as well. They're, yeah. There's they're more they're much more cynical, I think, than, than yeah. a lot of Americans. But like, it's like Halloween, for example. Like, we never used to do yeah. Halloween as hard as the Americans. But Americans did. love it. Like, yeah, it's yeah. A yeah. Massive there's thing. Like, like huge fucking stores yeah. devoted to it year round to yeah. sell Halloween Halloween crap. Yeah, it is getting bigger over here though. As a yeah, it is. It is. So, and as a result of all these Marvel films, everyone wants to dress up as a superhero and stuff. Even yeah. if it's not for an event, it's that? just well. I dressed up as Fat I dressed Thor up as for Indiana Halloween Jones. Yeah. Did you? Mm. Nice. It's pretty good. Did you go out trick or treating? Yeah, as yeah. Catwoman, like every year. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice. 
How accurate? Move, the costume. Movie which one? In it. Like yeah, Halle Berry worst. or like one of the older ones? Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Ooh, Pfeiffer. Wow. That's, that's a, a really leathery one. Really leathery one. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the white stitching. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good I one. I can see really like rocking that one. one a lot, yeah. Damn. Did you actually walk around with your kids and no, stuff? No, I didn't. I was at home that, this year. Just and in your cat suit. Yeah, in my cat suit. Yeah, yeah. No, they went with my with my wife and my mother-in-law. Nice. So I had to man the door. Is it a good place to trick or treat? Yeah. Did you get many people visiting you? A couple. Did you do like pumpkins and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Well, you got kids. You got to do all that stuff. Oh, of right? course. Yeah. You want to do that. Yeah. Like, if you're just like at home, like, you know, masturbating all the time because you got nothing else to do, maybe yeah. you won't do pumpkins. Watching you know? maybe. snakes the pumpkins. in the zoo and yeah. then hearing yeah. some knocking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. You Losing might your mind. Scared. Yeah. Thinking Losing about how much you love the roar of that McGann engine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just revving it up. Got it purred. We're not baby. going to this house. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to this one. Vroom. <laughs> 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 hey, you like that, baby? Vroom. What could it be? Like a 1.6? Uh, God, I don't know. One point eight. I don't even Please know don't. what that means. I know oh. so little about cars. Uh, liter uh, engine. The, the engine. Yeah. How? So, what's? The, it's probably yeah. It's gonna be sub two liter. One point eight. Maybe I don't yeah. actually know. It'll be. I mean, it won't make an impressive sound. Well, no, it sounds. I want to hear it now. I, I think next time. Maybe we can next time you start it up, time, record yeah. it, and just like yeah, yeah, hey, guys, listen yeah. to this baby pur. I'll wanna... do the uh, the Triforce intro music with the with that. Oh yeah. To copy you guys. Nice. What is your intro music? Do you? I didn't. I don't know. I don't even know. I've never have. watched the oh. Triforce podcast before, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's I fair think enough. Yeah, I mean, why would you? Yeah, how's he? He doesn't know. I don't know. He doesn't no. know. Yeah. He's okay. just talent. We can only there. guess, but now it's going to sound like a McGann engine and it sounds, it sounds <laughs> meaty. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, um, yeah, I disagree with the uh, gender reveal thing. It's over the top. Well, well the over I, the top ones where you're like blowing things up or getting planes to go across. It's like, I think oh, gender reveal in general is just kind of stupid. Yeah. Like, What's the point? It doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Good job. Yeah. yeah I mean, you didn't. Yeah. You didn't achieve. You, you literally did the one thing that like most human beings can do. You well, had a I'm child. I'm happy for you that you. you <laughs> Congrats, you fucking lady. You've got a healthy child. I don't care. It's not what even. A, it's is. not a pregnancy announcement. It's literally just whether it's a boy or a girl. Yeah, but yeah. they, but they yeah. don't even know. Like the baby's not even born at that point, though. Yeah. Right? This it's is just like, like when you get pre, the scan. Pre-birth. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, it's a boy. Mm. Quickly, so blow like something up. I don't know much about pregnancy. There's a three trimesters right was there's a, is a trimester and your first yeah so he had two he didn't you were pregnant he leaves that to the he's doctor. in the man cave he's in no, the man cave that's, that's the thing we were, we, we were pregnant we shared yeah. that experience no. yeah no there's the phase where like uh where your wife wants to eat uh chocolate chip cookies that's the with first mustard on them trimester oh uh, mustard are you serious after a while it just becomes like just entire jars of pickles only with like chocolate sauce on wow them? is that was that actually know. a thing that you want yeah, to so i don't know there's, there's like a third one but it, that those, that's how i stages. that's what is, yeah, the, what that's, is that about was stage. were you running out of food like or was it just a something oh, the hormones start like, like increasing because you're then feeding taste another buds life. crave yeah. different things yeah. yeah and then you're essentially feeding into your your child chocolate and pickles meat. is a pretty weird one though <sighs> God, I was joking, but oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, so I said, I trying to think, are there any real cravings? Well I mean, because yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. interesting, you know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think some some women get really. Did you sick. get cravings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The I'm nausea craving. and all that stuff happens in the first bit, and then you kind of stabilize in the middle bit, where it's like this is fine, and then when it comes close to popping time, yeah, it starts hurting again. Yeah, I think there's just like lots of like back pain and lots of like fucking feeling sick and shitty and Must be bloated awful for you. and stuff yeah well it sucks <laughs> yeah it's just like overeating stress eating all the time <laughs> baby, <laughs> 20 burgers hey a look day. baby <laughs> i'll take you out for a drive in the began come on let's <laughs> cheer you up <laughs> <laughs> yeah that lunatic's just revving like crazy in a began. <laughs> hey, <laughs> such a sweet tune. Oh baby <laughs> he's got a pitch he's got a nice 2001 great year <laughs> Uh, I think it's I think it's had it though like it's sputtering. <laughs> it's you think so. Have you ever had a car before that uh, does that? Yeah, you're yeah. going it's like your fuel you're going up into like third yeah, gear and so. you're trying to like really go nuts and it's just going and it's, and going, it's got no grunt yeah. yeah yeah so it'll be your fuel injector or you need to clean your erg which is like right. the recycle both really easy we'll, to do we'll have a look at we'll pop the bottom we'll pop yeah. it we'll pop and it. then we'll knock the exhaust off you know, and it'll sound amazing the time, oh, so like, this sounds like an erg yeah 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 <laughs> obviously we'll have true. to take a few minutes to admire the engine oh, yeah. yeah you gotta take that time yeah. Yeah. take it all in i had some know? i had some corrosion recently on the battery connector you ever get that lime scale build up wow i had to pour a boiling hot kettle on it did you on a battery 
Yeah, terrible idea. Did you actually? <laughs> no, on the connector. Right, okay, okay. <laughs> Not on the actual battery. Way! It's like when you pour it on a frozen windscreen, right? Yeah. Is that because explodes. Well, I mean, it's good to know the money hasn't changed you. Yeah. No, I mean, no, that's, so you know, that's some people will be like, oh, I'm going to get my you're grounded. You know, Ferrari. Like heathen, or, yeah. But so we know you're a multi-millionaire. Yeah. Well. To be yeah. on Jersey alone. That's yeah, just that's because it, of the tax yeah. situation. That's, that's yeah. one, of, one of the prerequisites for moving there. So uh, We need to check your bank balance. I'd prove my wealth. Yeah. And then you flaunted it, obviously, with gold and necklaces. Well, check out the McGann. Yeah, I got two. Comes off the ferry dressed like a pimp. Gold plated. Fucking awesome. And I just serviced that battery connector. Listen to this baby purr. (laughs) Is that a kettle? (laughs) (laughs) Woo! That's a kettle. Turns out the McGann dressed like a pimp with solid gold chains. I'm rich, baby! Do you ever use the car ferry? Is there a car ferry? There's a car ferry, yeah. Yeah. There's a couple actually. There's one that goes to. Uh, there's like a six-hour one to get to the to England. Oh yeah. Six, six hours. hours. Yeah. Jesus. And then there's a fast ferry that you can get to France in an hour. Is that with cars? So, with cars, yeah. Uh, wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's like one of those catamaran. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. With a big hole in the middle. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Like those. So um, yeah, it sucks though. It's like uh, in the winter, the schedule's like really stripped down. Uh, and it's not frequent sailings at all. And then the weather, if the weather's bad, they don't sail. So, Do you find yourself going over to France much? No, not really. Mm-hmm. Like maybe once or twice. Because you're closer to France than you are to England. Yeah, right? it takes like, yeah, you can, you can do a day trip to France. Can like you swim it? Saint Malo. Um, yeah, I think you can if you were that way inclined. Well, if you keep thinking Jesus. about working yeah, out, I, I think you'll, Jesus. You'll, get, you'll become physically yeah, fit. I'm not swimming. I fucking hate swimming in the ocean. It's Not when you got them again. Can you see France from the coast? Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah. Jersey, eh? Well, what a place. I don't know why we're not there. Guy. Quite the place. Well, we should move there. We should. Yeah, you guys, uh, if we just for that reason, if we could totally possibly move, yeah. find a property to buy, we, we, could, get, we could get all oh. this set up in Jersey, no problem. Yeah. Like we could fit this in my garage. Like, really? Yeah. Is your we garage could all is work big. together in my garage every day together. Just getting sweaty. Just bought a house. Tips. What do you tell me? This like few months ago oh man well just rent it out come over yeah rent out Airbnb it. you got some income then as well nice. live in my garage and i'll deposit it in my jersey account yeah that's right i like this tax free baby i like that yeah. surely then well i don't think you could you couldn't rent out a, a house on the mainland and then get tax free from i think if your company's jersey. from the mainland you would have to pay tax no matter right what. you need yeah. a jersey company <laughs> we've we've spoken about this before. Yeah. Well, we could, Last uh, podcast we did speak about. You tax guys want to trust me with your money? Yeah. Always. Well, I, I mean, mean, otherwise you'll spend recklessly on cars. Guy, hey guys, I bought a new McGann. Another one. Two thousand two. That's my fifteenth. I got a fleet now. <laughs> fleet of McGann. McGann's. What it's a that sight. French engineering that you just you just keep going back for. Oh, it's incredible. You know? They it's can build the Eiffel Tower. They can build a car. They can build a car that lasts. Yeah. I mean, two thousand one's a long time ago now. Is it actually from two thousand and one? Yeah. So would well, that yeah, be uh, second hand too? God damn. So, so X, had a bit of X Reg was two thousand. So the one after that, Y Reg. Is it Y Reg? I don't know what that means. What's the first letter on the number plate? Well, on the well, the, it doesn't work like that in Jersey. Uh, all the all the first letters are hieroglyphics. J. J. Oh, really? It's just J. Oh, yeah. cool. Oh, I didn't know and in Guernsey, it's G. Who would have wow. thought? Amazing. Guernsey and Jersey. Gamorian do you ever get annoyed at how close <laughs> those words are together? No. I do. Never. Guernsey and Jersey. I think they're very well. easily confused. I guess so. Do you have Guernsey cows? I've thought about Guernsey maybe like zero times in my life. So. Yeah. yeah. I've been to Guernsey. I've not been to Jersey. You went to the wrong one. Yeah. yeah. We've Obviously. never been, but we should. You should, yeah. We'll you guys should holiday. come over, yeah. Come over in the tour. summer. Did, didn't Lewis yeah. go and Lewis just yeah. did a big old bike tour around the entire Yeah, he did, yeah. He's, we he's could bring our electric scooters. Times. Yeah, yeah. That's that's quite seen. flat or not. Do we want to? Yeah, parts, yeah. There's a whole, like, seafront that's very flat. You could, mm, you could peg up and down that. Have you ridden an electric scooter much? No, only yours. Oh. oh yeah. And and then briefly, oh, you know what, actually? Who needs an electric We scooter? used them in, um, when I went to Portugal in Lisbon. They have a whole, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, mess of them. And everything. Yeah, 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 you can check them out, yeah. and they, it powers Same them on and stuff. Yeah, it's... Um, I think people hate them. I almost cities. died a couple of times. Like, it was pretty bad. They're really unsafe. Yeah, they super, yeah, super them unsafe. You almost died. Yeah, well, because you're on, on the roads. Like, you can't yeah. go on the sidewalks with them. So to be fair, in LA, that was There's, like, trams scary. going by and very fast cars and stuff. No, no McGann's, but... Uh, no McGann. I didn't see a single McGann while I was what there. What if you subtly switched out your McGann? Um, like, I think I bought too many. That's, too many McGanns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've like uh, emptied the market. Just yeah. burnt out on no McGanns. Or as we call them in England, Megans. Megans. 
I like I like the, you know the title. I so, like yeah, that, okay, that caught so the, my eye. Yeah. The headline right. is Builder has a poo on man's roof while fixing a leak in his loft, <laughs> then stuffs it down the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> there is a picture included. Um, uh, see, that's the kind of stuff that happens in England. That's you wouldn't, you wouldn't get that in America. No, no. They're too busy I, someone took a photo of parties. this as well. Um, oh, if you are man. watching it uh, on the on the on the video, you can see now a, a picture. <laughs> what of, am I seeing there? He's was a dude taking a he's, he's taking a shit. He's so um, he shit on somebody's roof. Yeah, and it's then the builder that's trying I mean, to there's, fix. It looks like there's a forest back there. Like he could have just kicked. He could have. He could have gone into the house. <laughs> what if it was too liquid? He could have done it on the, on the <laughs> yeah, ground. True, actually, yeah, but then it says, did he spray it down the chimney? Well, I'm well no, he, he apparently he, he grabbed it afterwards. Um, so it says a man who hired a builder to fix a leak in his loft was left stunned after claiming the roofer had a poo on his roof and stuffed it down his chimney. <laughs> Uh, the 38 year old dad said he, was, he had thoroughly checked out the company before requesting the small job to be carried out on his home in Skegness. Uh, he was horrified to discover that the roofer had defecated on his roof and left the dirty protest behind. Dirty protest. Wow. Uh, furthermore, the roofer had even taken a picture of himself in the act um, and uploaded, and uploaded it to social media. To social media. Well, someone else took a photo of him. But Why would you upload oh, it to your gross. social media? Oh, that's a big one. Who's proud of that? I mean, it's funny. But who's proud to go put? Would you put a, no. yourself shitting on on a roof on your own social media? If it got me I feel like you subs, would. Yeah, I would. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Just, yeah, Man. this is a real. I'd do anything. I want to stay relevant for as long as I can. So yeah, okay. shitting on a roof is the is is my path. Then. Do you think so? Do you feel? Do you ever worry about staying relevant? Um, not really. No, because like, I feel like you've had like quite a good sort of like. You, you're almost like a reverse bell curve obviously like when yogs were like gigantic and making yeah. ridiculous amounts of money you were right up there then that sort of fell off but now you're like right back up there again with like twitch and stuff yeah like, i think yeah i don't know i always just thought like if it didn't work out i'd just go back to work or whatever yeah because you, you did you worked at hsbc was it yeah for a while and then at a law firm for a while like and that's just systems coding yeah yeah, yeah. i thought you were a number fixer you fix yeah. all the numbers in people's bank I did, accounts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. adding the zero, the pennies, extra and zeros. And stuff, Do you yeah. still think you can remember all like the language and stuff? Well, yeah, because it was uh, from fucking all the programs that I used to to debug and stuff were written in like 1979, so it right. hasn't changed. So it's super, much. yeah, but it's process. But yeah, yeah, it's all like, it, yeah, like, it's all old stuff. Surely so. they've updated by now, though. No, 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 because it works. So mm. you know, it costs them millions. Unhackable. To, yeah, well, they got like lots of like front end systems that you know work or prevent people from getting in or whatever. And then once people get in and they find out that like all the mainframes are like fucking, you know, punch card <laughs> technology, like oh, spinning shit. tapes. <laughs> how, the, how do we hack this? <laughs> yeah, it's almost protected in its, yeah. in its obscurity. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so Makes yeah, sense. I don't know if it'd be too hard, but I don't know. Like, would you want to? Yeah, would like. Well, do you know. need like, to? What at this about stage? you guys? You you guys like worried about becoming? I wake up <laughs> sweating and uh, gasping or, awake every yeah. day. It's not necessarily the relevance part. It's more of the successful in that field, right? Like obviously, like YouTube's so tumultuous. Like you don't know whether yeah, YouTube like, is is a, in a weird spot right now, yeah. isn't it? You're relying on an algorithm that you have zero control over, yeah, and. You know, every day is just a shot in the dark. You don't know if it'll do well. You don't know if you know you'll yeah. earn enough money from it. I don't it. know if the algor algorithm was ever reliable. No, 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 no that's I mean, what I mean. Like, but it's, it's like, basically just like always a shot in the dark. Days of YouTube, it was guesswork at best yeah. and a now, lot of luck. Now it's even more obscure because part of it's machine learning. Yeah. So it's yeah. just like even YouTube engineers don't even know how it works because <laughs> yeah. they're not allowed to be told because it's like the KFC special ingredients. Yeah, yeah. It's like if it gets out, someone's going to exploit that yeah. and therefore game the system. Yeah. So they're not even I guess it's knowledgeable. Like, I guess with any of this, though, it boils down to financials, right? You yeah. want to you want to be able to sustain your lifestyle and yeah. pay your bills and stuff like that. And when it's so. three guys. Yeah. yeah. One yeah, right. channel. And one channel. Yeah. We have to worry about it a bit more. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Well, you started you guys, uploading to your channel again, haven't you? Yeah, well, not After me. like years, guys of, here have started. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're just like so. kind of little clips from your stream. Time. Yeah, I mean, it seems a shame. It's just a channel with yeah, exactly. two million subs and they're doing nothing for like two years. So, um, and well, then what's the thing other people the thing are doing? Is, it? So yeah, you, you may as well, right? What, what made well, you so. stop doing YouTube? I just, in the end, it was like my my whole schedule was like I'd wake up in the morning, I'd go out to my garage, um, <laughs> and then um, in the morning I would like <laughs> got a commute. Stuff. <laughs> So like at the time, like kind of maybe probably about like a year before I stopped, um, there was a guy here doing my editing, which oh, was yeah, a bit yeah. easier. But then so like I was I would do recording or like I would do main channel recording or like the podcast in the morning and then I'd like have a break for lunch and then stream in the afternoons. So like I had like a good split going sort of thing. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but then in the end, I like I I turn up for recording stuff in the in the mornings, and I'd just be like, "Fuck it, it's it's too hard to play games like this." And right. like I I just wanted to play games. So like when I was doing Skyrim or like any big long game, I'd I'd record it for like you know three hours a week. And then I'd never, I wouldn't come back to it again for a week. Yeah, so yeah. Lost. Forget, yeah. you'd lose all that motivation. But then with streaming, fun, I could yeah. play like eight hours a day and like actually finish the game and never really get lost because that's what I was playing at the time. And then in the end, I was just making enough money on Twitch to say, okay, I don't need to do YouTube anymore. I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Just take the take the plunge, and it's like it's paid off, and it's better because I actually play more games now. And yeah. Finish games and enjoy it a lot more. So I guess you're kind of lucky because you took your audience from YouTube and applied it to Twitch. In Mostly, a way. yeah. There's people that don't like the Twitch format at all. Yeah, you know, it is different. Well, it's because there's it a more be pressure, a right? In terms yeah. of like, like you said earlier on, if you don't stream this weekend, you're going to lose subs. Yeah. You're, so essentially, there's like this kind of mental pressure of if you're not on, yeah, you're losing money. Yeah. Or you have to then kind of there's the climb back up. I think the yeah. following week. That that's the difference between us and you. I think is that like you like, and I mean, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of games I'd love to play for eight hours straight. But like with us, I think we almost don't want to lose the YouTube lifestyle because yeah. <clears throat> we can record a load of stuff, upload it, and then like go away for a week and yeah, film yeah, something yeah. else. Like with you, obviously you've got your family, you've got all that sort of stuff there. Like I think it's perhaps maybe suits suits you a bit more. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I think so. And then you know, when it comes around to me going away or whatever, like usually things are in a good spot to go away. Mm -hmm. And yeah. yeah, you lose stuff, you have to come back and claw it back or whatever. But I, if, I, if, if I'm back for like a week, it's usually back up to what it was sort of thing. Oh, so okay. it's not, it's not like. It's pretty reliable then. Yeah, it's never been like, I, I've never been in a situation where I've come back and I've been like, oh fuck, I'm really struggling to <laughs> hold it yeah. back up. Shit, yeah, like yeah. I should never go away again. Like, you know, yeah. I mean? it's like, it's good to have breaks and stuff. Mm, yeah. You know? yeah, it's healthy for sure. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what it's like, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, it's great. Oh, it's awesome. Man, I love having a break. <laughs> it's just great. Like a Kit Kat and a wank. Yeah, yeah, when we last right. had a break. I like think Christmas? What? I don't know when our yeah. last break was, yeah, last Christmas, week maybe. Or two. I guess if you count us when we went over to America. Yeah. But we're still filming our, our trips every day. Are yeah. Part work, part play, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. See, still if me. you guys stream them, you could GoPro them. And yeah, you but. You could go into yeah. all these crazy places with your GoPros on. I guess so. I think a part of it is kind of there's, there's a. Yes. There's a. There's a <laughs> want to be that guy. No, really. <laughs> there's a joy to the edit of it, I think, in some yeah, cases. Like yeah. Like, in, in terms of it's a craft, making yeah. a narrative out of what we've there's done. There's much more of a craft to YouTube. Like, yeah. you know, if you do something like you like the trailers that you guys do, or like, you know, you do something. You, you can do something edited special that's yeah. not just playing a game sort of thing. Whereas on Twitch, you, you can't really do it's that. It's kind of like a yeah. throwaway. Kodak disposable stuff like you got to be there watch yeah. it and then I don't yeah I mean yeah. there are some people like, like RT Game for example who will do streaming primarily edit that into a video and then that's kind of that's both the best of both worlds and mm. both are succeeding very well mm. um, I think and also you, I guess you've seen that in the fact that you can now upload to your channel with clips yeah, and stuff, which yeah I don't know if those make money though because they just get demonetized like instantly also they're not very long so, right so no, sometimes that long, doesn't help yeah. right so, because you're playing music I think it's or? worth having them up there um, it's not so much music I think it's just what what's in them I, I don't oh, know no. if swearing yeah. or, or what but um, I just sort of see it as like a, you know if, if people are still following the channel they know that I stream Definitely, now yeah and then you know if, if one of them does exceptionally well it'll just get out there and more yeah. people will see me and hopefully come and watch the stream sort of thing so twitch.tv slash sips underscore I follow him <laughs> on uh, Instagram as well don't forget that uh, underscore <laughs> and yeah. he's not going to shit in your chimney no, no. never no. Try not to. if you have me over to do roofing work I will throw that shit in the forest. Behind <laughs> he will uh, yeet. Not down the he will yeet that ski. I will shit on your roof. <laughs> do, you, do you have a rough schedule? No, yeah, like rough. Like, um, like I usually start sort of around ten a.m. Uh, yeah, and then you do and eight then, hours, and then just go through until about six or whatever. Sometimes you've done but evening it, stuff. Sometimes, right? yeah. If I'm playing something, I'm really into it, and I really want to play it uh, in the evening. I'll stream you again see your family the, the next sort day. of thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, I see them like in the morning. I take them to school and everything. Yeah, is that ever an issue? The amount I see of them at, at lunch. I see them at dinner time. Oh, okay. I all put the, them to bed. All the I key so, milestones yeah. you've... Yeah, so yeah. like I'm probably around more than most people yeah, yeah. who like have the to average nine to five fucking, yeah, yeah i guess worst case scenario you can always just be like stuff. well cut a stream off early and yeah then yeah you need to so you know, oh, my have kids taking a shit on the roof yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. god he's, he's learned to shit on the roof he's it into the forest <laughs> he's revving them again again <laughs> just <laughs> yeah so it's, yeah, it works out pretty good i think i got a pretty good balance like yeah. i don't i never feel like 
burnt out <coughs> or like I need to like take a day, a mental health day or anything like that. Like I think it, I think I, I've worked in to my my schedule for streaming, like doing the things that I want to do. So it. it sort of balances yeah. out you've done it you've worked it out I've done you've it. won the you've work life balance yeah. have you you've done mastered the like system eight hour stints of gaming before you did streaming hell yeah all the time. <laughs> yeah all the time okay like, so I used just to play that. copious amounts of wow and league of legends I mean, yeah, and yeah. you played and league everything. of legends yeah i used to play it yeah. i've lost a lot of respect yeah well, no i don't care <laughs> it was like early days like like when it came out but you also played dota as well so yeah. like on weekends and stuff like you know like work timing allow allowing sort of thing mm. I used, yeah i used to play a lot of games now so I you never to play found it way like more a <laughs> slog early on in twitch like getting used to the idea of streaming for so long no 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 it was you always felt like quite a, natural with it yeah because like it's pretty low-key i'm not like super animated yeah i think you've always talk adopted lot. that kind of just yeah. casual play rather yeah. than us kind of still keeping that energy level yeah like of I, youtube yeah I yeah look at me i'm a bundle of it yeah you're just you know? over yeah it's just too many explosive face. contagious it is contagious yeah. you're right um yeah. and so is the energy uh, do you have a lot of friends like who don't really get what you do yeah do you, do you find it hard to explain it to them sometimes not really because like obviously like, well, like, i don't know if your wife like you have family yeah. and friends over and stuff like do they ever like go oh, so what, do you, what do you actually do what do you do on yeah and you, you just, just explain play it to them and they're like, like oh that sounds like the dream yeah <laughs> like you know that that's everybody's like response yeah, to yeah, my yeah. garage i wish i could play video games all day yeah, 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 yeah. classic um so it's like it's not too bad like most most people that we know know what i do yeah like yeah. my friend like my like friends that I grew up with in Canada, like know what I do and stuff. So do any of them like actually want, actively watch you? Do you Not know? actively, but yeah. like they check in, check in once yeah, in a while, yeah. sort of thing. Like Is every once in a while, like I'll get like a a WhatsApp from my friend. It'll be like, oh, this fucking clip, like you know, that got yeah. uploaded oh, to YouTube. Right, 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 right okay, right, yeah. like you know, just shit like that. Is it also the guys that you share a WhatsApp group for playing albums together? Yeah, the same guys. Yeah, and uh, and I started playing COD with them. The new oh, COD. Recently. Oh really? Yeah, nice. yeah. But they're all PlayStation players. Oh, oh right. So I get in a group with them, and we get matched up against other PlayStation people. I'm yeah. like the only guy with mouse and keyboard. Just like headshot. Dominate. <laughs> <laughs> just, just nice. Fucking what? Yeah, it's awesome. It's really you still good. enjoying it? Because we were playing it the other day. Yeah, yeah. I I stopped playing it so much because I've just been playing uh, Planet Zoo a lot more. And Hearthstone, right? And Hearthstone. Yeah. Yeah, the auto battler is really good. I like it. I didn't think I would like it. When they announced it at BlizzCon, it looked stupid. Um, It's like Dota Chess. Yeah, it's like like Auto Chess, but but in Hearthstone and with Hearthstone cards. Cool. Yeah, Mm. it's good. Is there a a game to it, or is it more like strategy of setting up your team and then let them go? Yeah, there's like tribes, so there's like murlocs mechs you know like and they all synergize together Mm. um the big thing in in the auto battler is that you have these like scaling units so like i don't know if you played much hearthstone but there's like a scavenging hyena and it's a beast and his thing is he gets stats every time a beast dies oh okay because there's a sequence to it yeah you put him on the far right so that he attacks last but by the time he attacks, it's like a fucking monster because you've got all these beasts killing yeah, yeah. themselves on everything else. I see. Mm-hmm. So yeah. there's, it's, That's cool. It's, it is cool, yeah, it's good. Might give Are it you a particularly go. religious man? Would yeah. You say? yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What kind? What denomination? The Church of... Money! <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, no, I'm not religious at all, no. Uh, well, there's a click to pray wristband available now. Oh, there is, right. yeah. Uh, there which is. is, I think, was the Catholic Church, was it? Uh, so you know how, let me like, find the article. Catholic Church has like rosary I love the. Things. I love that link. Ha- roofer uses roof as a shitter mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's it i mean there's a killer gender reveals as well uh, free nightclub it. entry for baby click to ti checks yeah. daughter's hymen regularly so this uh, we'll is the vatican 110 dollar click to pray wearable rosary so are you, are you religious Anybody no here? no you no, guys don't i'm practice staunchly any? atheist no. right okay you're uh, so like, well, I wouldn't religion. say I'm atheist either, though. No, but I'm not. I'm not religious either. I, I'm just like. The uh, there's actually so another story that ties into this quite well. I'm very ambivalent. Think I got a cream yeah. for that. <laughs> um, so this is a rosary bead. So like Catholic, in the Catholic faith, you have rosary beads, and you yeah. can like you basically count them or move your fingers along. They're not praying. anal beads. They're not anal beads. Don't use them Damn. as that. They but now be. they've come out with this apple Damn, I was looking style. for some petite anal beads. Well, there we go. <laughs> Religious the ones on the market well. too big. Well, this is like, you know, trackable, Bluetooth trackable and stuff. So you could, you could probably use it to work out how many sort of like, you know, tugs you've done. Right. $10. Like, uh, $110. And uh, yeah, it means that like, you know, that modern, that Gen, Gen X or Gen Y or, you know, yeah. whatever can, can pray on the go. 
Uh, and I think that's just stupid as hell. That's so weird. Um, Where does it go? Well, I mean, Where does, it, does, it, does it tell you when to pray? I'm not sure. If it does. Read the article. It says it serves as a tool for learning to how to pray the rosary for peace in the world. Uh, the e-rosary is an app-driven device oh, that can be worn yeah. as a bracelet. To activate it, you have to, all you have to do is make the, the sign, sign of, of the, the cross. cross. Similar to how Catholics begin praying. So you would just do the... the yeah, yeah. So that, would then, that motion activates it. And Once like, activated, the wearer can choose between three different options to pray. Yeah. There is the standard rosary, a contemplative rosary, or the thematic rosary, which will be updated every year. Wow. Uh, the device shows the user <laughs> progress throughout each prayer and keeps track of each rosary <coughs> completed. Good God. Oh, so it even says it. The interactive device is a push from the church to reach tech-savvy millennials and Gen Z. Uh, just, I mean, as, just as magical as Jesus. You're annoyed by it. Yeah, well, it's, it's harmless. Right? I'm not annoyed. It's harmless. It's um, harmless. Yeah. No, like, it's not. I, I couldn't I'm not annoyed at it, it because no. of the harm it causes. <laughs> like even, I think it's. Uh, if that's what you want to do and spend your money on, there's worse things that you can yeah. do. Right? Yes, but it's kind of an insane object that is part of you know our modern landscape, right? Like yeah. the, the we've we've gone from something a religion of some or something that's been around for you know hundreds of thousands Millennia. of years. Um and now we've updated it so that like I mean come on doing yeah. the cross with motion accelerated it's things it's kind of cool that it, it can it, the fact that, yeah, it, yeah like though, yeah. I oh I did it wrong oh uh, yeah it's I got like the wrong having a, a priest next to you right giving you guidance yeah it's like that but does it does it like can you hear like a Gregorian chant coming out oh, oh, it should have some speakers oh, oh, oh. that'd be kind of cool but I mean, like, it, great praying, it, buddy. It doesn't. It Thanks. doesn't annoy me. Pray awesome. Wow, great you've, motion. You've hit all of your praying goals I've done for the day. Praise today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Jesus, praise me. I just, I didn't, wasn't necessarily angry about it. I was just thinking, it's just, it's just nuts, isn't it? It's bizarre. But it's right. going into your room 101. It it's is gone. Yeah, it's right. Bong. It's kind of like that. Yeah. It's bizarre, but some people will do it, and like, who cares? If that's what yeah. they want to do. I mean, it doesn't harm anyone from the sounds. It's yeah. just no. some. But if we only oh, some money about things scheme, that, that harmed it. people, we'd have nothing to talk about on this podcast. True, uh, true. Unless we want to talk about, you know, school shootings. Well, what? I, I mean, mean, that's straight in there. Not as it's not as I'm just saying. On the just topic saying. of uh, uh, shitting, uh, bringing it back to shitting, if, if you guys don't mind. Uh, go for I it. Was, uh, I was talking to Smithy before, and I actually oh, okay. was uh, looking for an answer to this. Okay. Uh, have you ever been in a situation before where you kind of have to take a shit? You can feel it coming, mm. but you're not ready to take a shit, Okay. You, you're busy. You're busy. You've got things to do. you got one in the you chamber. Got, yeah, you've got one hell, in the chamber, yeah, yeah. but it's like maybe in an hour yeah. after I've done a couple you're of other things. You're all stuck into something, yeah. But you got to pee really bad. Okay? Yeah. And you so can't you're do like, one without the other. If, I don't want to be in the, here for 20 minutes shitting. 20 minutes. I, I'm okay yeah. to be in here for like, you know, a <laughs> minute, piss. taking yeah. a piss, and then I'm done sort of thing. But have you ever had it where you're, you're starting to piss? And then you can feel the pressure <laughs> up in your ass, and your ass is just like it's time, it's go time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, I, I guess. Then, so. But then it wouldn't take twenty minutes, though. If you're mid piss, yeah. though, and you feel like you're about to shit, like how do you then transition from standing up at a toilet pissing to then? I think in that uh, scenario, you around would, and to continue pissing into the toilet. The safety net is to sit. You right? could probably, you could toilet probably toilet try and like get as close to the back of the toilet as possible, and then kind of straddle around, and then. Then bizarre. sit. So if, if you you're have a bathtub next to the toilet, I think that's the ideal. If you're if you're desperate, if you're, I mean, <laughs> if, if it's that desperate, oh. but then also, I mean, the, if if it's already knocking the door, you shouldn't be worried about the time because no. ultimately you're going to be in there real quick. If you've got something else to get it on with, flush or out. you're yeah. you know right? you're, you're yeah. mid cod yeah. match and you're like, oh god, I really need a shit, but. But Jeez. what if it's one of those ones that like breaks off, like, oh, or yeah, like yeah. it's like a like a moosey one? You know? Or you accidentally it's like, tense it's like one of those clay ones. You cut it off. Clay, <laughs> where it's like, I'm pretty sure there's right more here, there. but I'm, I'll wait it out. I, I'll, I'll take that one more. If you ever have to shit outside, right? right there's another oh. dilemma that you don't really think about. So when you take your trousers down and your pants down, right? When you take the sh so you dig your little hole, I can already you, smell you it. Squat I can smell down, it. You squat down, right? And you're taking a shit in the hole. But the thing is, your dick's here. Yeah. And your your pants are between your legs, and unlike oh, when you, you sit can't down use like yeah, that, you gotta like you have to have a pivot point. So you kind of kind of try and tuck it, but, yeah. but you can't tuck that much. Like you know, a natural squat, your ass is very low, and you, and you, you have a bone so, at the time as well. For oh wow, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't even try. But like, so I had to do this. So this thing I'm doing this weekend, this like Milsom thing. There's no toilets, so if you need a shit, you're shitting outside in the woods, so right? Can you just take your pants right off? Well, you could, but you're also gonna get shot at with BB guns. <laughs> yeah, they just see two so just balls. Just so 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 oh my god, I think someone's shitting. Also, it's freezing what and, about and a, you're raining. Just a, get a diaper. Just adult, a, diaper? An adult diaper. You keep what you are very worried about the shitting thing, aren't you? You've I mentioned mean, it several times now. If you had to do this, you'd understand why. Well, I know. So, so yeah. you end up pissing, and obviously, like you say, you're, you're taking your shit, and you. And I mean, 
if you say you can't piss when you need it, you know, you can't take a uh, not have a shit when you need to piss. Yeah. Well, you also can't really take a shit without pissing a little bit. Do you so are, you always piss when you shit, right? Always. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much no, always. No, it's no yeah. very, yeah. Rare, right. very rare. And so what happens is even when you're trying not to, it's just sort of shooting out all over your shoes, all over the inside <laughs> of your pants, you know, oh, like it's, man. A, it's a real tough one. In a way, you yeah, almost want to like tough. stretch your legs out, hold yeah. your body up like, like that, and then just kind of just hope for the best. Well, hold on. But then your cheeks and then I, I guess close a little bit. So well, no, if you're sat like this, yeah, you're yeah, still yeah. just going to piss up and throw it all over your what own you, belly. What and if you lay on your side? I don't know. I mean, it, I, yeah, I guess work. it would be cold. Yeah, so you'd be, uh, lay uh, on your side. But you need then... the gravity to make sure it's a clean drop because otherwise the yeah. shit just yeah. ends up just slopping on yeah. one of your ass cheeks, doesn't it? True, yeah. you could shit on an ass so what I did, I would try pissing first. I bought a small fishing stool, you know, like one of those ones you fold out, I just cut a hole in the middle Perfect. of it. Yeah. And everyone, and then the thing is, people started asking to borrow it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Can I borrow your stool? Oh, my but wait, oh. isn't there like a crossbar underneath it or is it just two legs? No, so, so it's two legs that open up like that and right. then a piece of fabric went between them and I just cut the hole out. Just put like a bag, I guess, underneath it. Well, it's like a catching device. Like yeah, a dog, just dig a hole. Dig a shallow grave for it and then you leave a little stick with a little bit of tissue paper on it so nobody crawls through it when they're trying to get out of fire put a little <laughs> landmine wait sign. what are these yeah. what are these little flags <laughs> yeah, Vietnamese yeah, yeah. landmine landmine <laughs> also when you shit in a hole rather than a toilet you really look realise how much you shit like yeah, oh, yeah. because it's not like there's no refraction of the water making it look so, smaller no. there's no depth and you've dug yeah. this shallow it's ass bigger grave. than a handful yeah. that's for sure yeah. it's like, like an owl, you, it's like a German shepherd when you like, occasionally take a shit and it kind of comes out like a, a like beast. Snake, yeah. And you see, oh, like, oh my god. Oh, well, yeah. when it's breached, like Titanic. Yeah, when it's breached. <laughs> <Yeah>. Man, <laughs> those, those ones are, are satisfying, yeah. but horrifying. Yeah. 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 Like, wow, well, that was in me. Especially well, like a Mr. Whippy ice cream. cream. They start sort of like spiraling around I never yeah. watch. Just leave streaks all never around watch oh, man. you never watch I it watch all the time well if you think about it when you flush it basically ejecting all that fecal matter into, into the air yeah, so yeah. that's like what the lid's for four. like they're not, they're, there's nothing getting up so, to yeah. me they're, you say that uh, there, was, there was actually evidence <laughs> it does it goes all over fecal yeah. matter is projected up to 15 feet away from a toilet when flushing it nice. instant yeah. pink eye have you seen these toilets that they're developing now that don't use water Really? Yeah, they have like oh, little wow. incinerators built into them. <laughs> cool. You shit, what? and then What's there's the like this like little that? conveyor belt that takes the shit up into like the back. Of the, it looks wow. like a normal toilet, like a an like in the semi, like like back. in a fucking funeral, and, and then it, it just so, slowly goes this back. Mini incinerator, wow. and then just turns Bill into Gates ash. waterless loo. Is that what you're talking oh, that's about? Bill Gates one. There you go. That's the one. Look. I mean, it's it looks like a nightmare. It's like a poo cremation device. Yeah. Bill Gates backs the waterless toilet. There you go. Can you take your poo in like a jar, like as if you've been to a funeral? I, I don't look know. I've never tried system. it. I Do they make smart versions of it? I'm, but I'm, yeah, see, look at the spiral thing. See? Oh, yeah. yeah. The shit goes up the spiral a little and spiral then it goes the back into that fucking oh, incinerator. Such that a mess. so weird. That because was... the, the water, <laughs> the the water toilet look is little, like uh, such an old old concept. Yeah, The is. whole uh, water water toilet thing. And they, they think that this will save it a lot of water. It traps the smell, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, it'll reduce a lot of pollution and stuff yeah. as well. I really want a Japanese smart toilet. Sometimes I mm. take a shit in the toilet and I flush it down and I actually feel sorry for the environment because it was, it was such a tiny one. <laughs> a piece of you is about to go through hell. Leave yeah. it in there for some <laughs> like a really <laughs> tremendously messy one. And you just think, yeah. where is this going to go? Like, that's in the ocean. Water back straight back in. <clears throat> water filtrated. Well, talk, talking to pieces oh, of nice. shit. Um, rapper T.I. says he accompanies his daughter to the gynecologist every year to ensure she's a virgin. Did right. you hear about this story? Yeah, I did. It's oh, so isn't that absolutely is batshit insane? Yeah. Uh, also, we aren't fathers. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't even dream of doing that. But, like, you are. would you monitor your I child's... I can understand that. You can understand to, that? To a point, yeah. So. To the point you would take her to the gynecologist. Well, you just wait outside, right? Well, yeah, sure. But and like, then you just get the, you know... Is that not like sort of comes out the door and goes like that? <laughs> but why, okay. why, why is, does that mean yeah? Or why not? is it important that they remain a virgin? I, also, like, yeah, isn't that just over the top parenting? Is that not just a bit much? Do you think? Yeah, it She's is. 18. That's, that's going to develop crazy. psychological it issues crazy, for yeah. the daughter, right? Yeah, it's like this is such. A I can huge understand deal. the concern, yeah, mm. but the the action is understandable. Crazy. Yeah. Did you know Ti's crazy. real name is Clifford Joseph Harris Jr. <laughs> Junior, they loved the name Clifford so much. They Clifford. were like, "Let's do it again." Clifford. <laughs> what about Joseph? Wow, middle name. Okay, cool. Nice. Clifford Joseph, it is Junior. <laughs> Junior, that's so weird. He made that, a yeah. That the, is, uh, that's very. What's the word? Not condemned. As of her 18th birthday, her hymen is still intact. He declared. High how? What, what, how? How old? 18. <laughs> Eight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You guys that are was I was mainly cancelled, celebra- cancelled. I was mainly <laughs> celebrating that it was still intact. I wasn't even celebrating anything else. Good job. Course, yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Great yeah. police work. Like, <laughs> Rapper T. Oh. Why did he say? Why does he feel the need to announce this as well? Boy, um, oh, he doesn't. Probably Dej somebody just, got wind of it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Got some music for this one. Um, Dej is 18, just graduated high school now, and she's attended her first year of college, figuring it out for herself. He explained. And yes, not only have we had the conversation about sex, we have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her hymen. Imagine saying that loud and proud as if, like, that's not a weird thing to do. I mean, have you ever heard of any parent ever, like, is that a thing? Hey, I mean, I wouldn't know. What I've are never... you doing here? I'm just uh, testing the integrity of my daughter's hymen. <laughs> just, uh, just make sure you know, there's no breaches. Um, that's, uh, that's listen, normal. listen to my new album, yeah. Fuck Bitches, Get Money. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Jesus. I want to know what happens if it's not intact anymore. What's the what's the aim here? I mean, surely after now it stops. Like that's it doesn't, it that's the buck. So. That's where the buck stops. She's eighteen. But what's the He's, point? That's like, where the fuck starts. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Once again, cancelled. Maybe cancelled. Yeah, I don't think I should be cancelled. No. I think just just need to get cancelled. Oh well. fuck. Oh my god. So, uh, so it's this one time ago. Um, Overbearing. That's the word I was thinking of. Yeah. I think this might have been her after her sixteenth birthday. Said Ti, this is what we do usually, like the day after her birthday. She's enjoying her gifts. I put a sticky note on the door. Gyno, tomorrow, Jesus 9.30. Jesus fucking Christ. So we'll detail. go and sit down and the doctor will come and talk to the doctors maintaining a high level of pre- professionalism. He's like, well, you know, sir, I have to, in order to share information, I'm like, Deja is her name. Um, they wanted you to sign this so we can share information. Is there anything you would would not want me to know? Um, so apparently it's yeah. all signed off. It's that all like she's like, like a pressured situation okay, at here's all. This, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, Jesus. that contract should be void. Um, there are many yeah, ways for the hymen to n- to break besides sex there as are. well. So yeah. horse you know, riding, horse riding. Yeah, vigorous um, <laughs> masturbation. <laughs> vigorous <laughs> masturbation. I guess if she really rule that one out. Does anyone <laughs> also just really dislike the word hymen? Hymen. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a, a, little, it's a yeah. horrible it's word. It is a pretty weird word, isn't it? Like, yeah. it sounds like a hymen German man. Yeah. Like high women. Oh, hello, hymen. Oh, hello, <laughs> hymen. Hymen. Oh, hymen. Well. That's a very weird story, um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So my hymen hurts. <laughs> Something's up with my hymen. Uh, so bike riding, athletics, horseback riding, and other forms of athletic physical activity can also cause That's damage to the hymen. Mine. Yeah. Um, my ass hymen. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I got breached. Uh, he recalled saying, uh, so I say, look, dog, she don't ride no horses. She don't ride no bike. She don't play no sports. Oh Just check the God. hymen, please, and give me back my results. Wow, that sounds really demanding. The way is that it. her? That's a picture scroll of her. Down, yeah. Is that right. her? That's a picture of her. If you scrolls scrolls down, there is a picture of her. Good. Yeah. Um, Good. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that, that her hymen is still intact. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. This this fills me with joy. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. I, Get I, me those beads. Thank God. Ah. Something pure in this world. Let me pray. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not activated. Hold on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hold on. I need to get... uh, it's not detecting it. Um... <laughs> Signal. No. He, ju- he justifies it by just saying he uh, he believes that many people wish their parents had been more protective of them over the years. So he's thinking that kids. Would, oh, like, so this is stemmed from would. probably some horrible parenting experience he's had potentially. And what better way to to get just over that than project that onto it your, onto child. your child? Or to go the complete antithesis of that. Yeah. And become too overbearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that doesn't sound like a psychological problem. Well, cool. That's really? Great. That's a yeah. That was a good one. one. That was like that one. Uh, yeah, he he that has one. six <laughs> kids apparently. Six. Six. Yeah, do, Man, do that, that with the other ones. He, he maybe, should, maybe he should he should open up his own gynecologist. <laughs> so just often. do his own. Just yeah. like, Man, I'm in and out of here all the time. I should get like a like a be loyalty card. I imagine. <laughs> Uh, what about this though? So we were talking about um, Japan last week, right? Yeah. So um, there's this really cool thing in Japan, which uh, is fried chicken mm. that tastes like girl feet. Oh. Finally, so so it will taste like God. women's feet. What, like like dirty feet or like uh, freshly cleaned feet? <clears throat> There's a difference. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. Depends oh on what build kind of, up that. What kind of moisturizer do they use? What jam you in in for? Mm. What's, what's girl's it? soul it's called what kind of S-O-L-E. shower gel have you been using do you ever pick your toenails and then smell it afterwards and it smells like death yes yeah. <laughs> or your toenails yeah. or you have to trim your toenails and there's I, like I like to like think a, that's what dead bodies smell like no they smell worse oh, I think it's probably worse right. that's a healthy how do you know? toenail that how do you, you know? just pulled off oh healthy toenail well yeah I mean it's you know, yeah, but do you do you eat the martyrs? Because I know no. some, there are some people who eat their toenails. They'll crunch them. It's like, oh, why would you eat your toenails? Get my appetite up for these chicken. 
Oh, you're uh, all hungry for the fe- the, the chicken. Yeah. Uh, so this fetish-inspired um, flavor claims to mimic the smell and stickiness of the underside of a young woman's foot. Of course this is a Japan. Thanks to well. Natto, they a type of fermented soybean. Weird relationship yeah, with, with young so, women. Young women oh, yeah. Yeah. They need so TI over there, checking hymens. <laughs> Yeah. You got your hymen? You got your hymen? <laughs> what about your hymen? Let me smell your feet. <laughs> go to the gyno. <laughs> Let's go to the gyno. He just brings a gyno with him everywhere he goes. Uh, fetish inspired flavor is a weird thing. It's a weird thing <laughs> to think <laughs> about. It, it, it's also my strange that someone has, feet, must have, ex- <laughs> they must have experienced that first. <laughs> I broke my hymen on my own toe. <laughs> Oh, my God. oh wow! I can put uh, my toes across, in, like, my f- in my mouth. I think we've been through this. You've been say your you toes in your mouth. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I used to, I no as a baby, I used to suck my big toe. As a Trick, baby, but now, yeah, plug your ass with it. I got can you get your leg up? Like, wh- how, what's your position? Do you have to be in? He's got his foot in go. his mouth. I mean, on your shoe, this is a dirty yeah, ass shoe. Yeah, like, put that um, in your mouth. I'm not even going to attempt it. I, I, it's possible. I think most people could do it. Probably we could again. Get good, how close uh, could you get it? You don't need to actually. You can. You can definitely get your foot in your mouth. Like, that's why we get foot and mouth done. Go when you Is get it, home. Come on, you can, you get, you're getting there. Like, you're getting there. You it. It's come always on. good to push past that. It's, it's always good to really good the point of resistance. Yeah. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just oh, go God. into your spine breaks. Um, yeah, that's you always. dislocated or broken anything, Sips? No, never. Okay, back to really? the feet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. essentially, someone must have smelt uh, the underside of a woman's foot to attribute that smell, right? Well, yes. Fermented like, soybean. Uh, it smells like the bottom side of a young lady's foot. Wow, well, that's, like that's a, a great a, flavor. The, that smell is caused by uh, bacteria, though, right? Yeah. Same yeah. with, like, under Sweat. your armpits or whatever. Yeah. But it's not like, fermented. Are, so I, I take it they're not putting any uh, gross bacteria onto the chicken. Like it's it could a, be, like, a, a, uh, like, an artificial... Good bacteria. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's good, yeah. I'm just plastering this chicken in Actimel. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Don't own. Oh, my God. Um, so, <laughs> well, yeah, you so should know. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that's just so disgusting. So, it's a girl's soul, soul carage. Am I saying, probably saying that wrong. You can try it for um, $3.60. Not bad, is it? In Tokyo. 400 yen. Uh, it's right. Tenka Torimasu. Sounds like a lot. If you want to go there. It's not. Check it out. I might yeah, go I mean, Tenka Torimasu. I feel like we should try. try Why don't we all go to Japan? Do you want to go to Japan? Sure. I think you and Japan would be quite funny. I've been. Have you? How yeah. was it? Did I you liked it, yeah. Did you have and the girls speak? No. no. Oh, shit, you'd love it. It's good. Where Did have you been? Tokyo. No. Oh. For like two weeks. Wow. Yeah. When was that? 2007. Wow. Yeah. How'd you know? Do you want to know the flight specific? dates or? Yeah. Uh, and the, the numbers, number? please. And the flight numbers, yeah. <laughs> I want to track it later. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, no, I went. It's good. It's Is that fun. just a personal trip or were you doing YouTube at that point? No, no. No, 2007, I wasn't doing YouTube. So did you fly from Canada or? No, no, I was in Jersey at the time. Perfect, right. Let me just write all this. Just try and, try and know the date. 2003. And what's the airport you flew okay. out of? Did you have to fly to the mainland first? Uh, Sorry, it's just yeah. there was a right, serious right, crime right, in yeah, that time no. and we just were trying to figure it out. Oh, it's, it's, right, um, yeah, it's a cold case we're yeah. trying to. Yeah, send the SWAT round. We finally got him. Make sure you get the scenic. Seize the goddamn again. That thing's a beaut. And the kid loves guns. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we, we've got we got more. I mean, there's all right. So, uh, so Disneyland man trusted bridge. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's uh, have that one. I like a Disneyland story. Okay. I like. I I I feel like Walt Disney is a scary definitely event the happiest in, like, place on Earth. A wooden... somewhere mm. like on ice. He is cryogenically frozen. And his fucking the whole is that true? The He's whole the like things. setup of Disney and stuff. I've said this like many times, but like the whole like catacombs because you never see an ambulance in mm. Disneyland that they use yeah. to like and then they if, go somebody, the tunnels if somebody faints or whatever they pull them into like scenery straight away and <laughs> someone comes out yeah, a hole yeah. and You'll be okay and Disney pay a lot of money like because one guy was beheaded you know like the big fucking steamboat oh yeah so Jeez. like a mast came off just randomly through a crowd and like ripped a dude's head off but they pay like fucking millions to keep it out of the yeah. news. Because I they, can remember they went why. nuts when Banksy did. Like, but I uh, just like the whole thing. Just, thing. I, I find mm-hmm. the whole thing. No, he was fascinating. in Disney. Like, it's a bit terrifying. Yeah, Dressed up it's as a just such a day. fucking weird. Thing. Keep everything happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no yeah. bad stuff. Yeah, I'd love it if they did like a uh, made like a mini series like like Chernobyl style. In like, the on, on yeah, Disney on with, the like, dark side of Disney. Yeah, it happens. All the ambulances coming through. Jeez, we got three more fainters. But yeah, anyway, that, I mean, get him in the catacombs. <laughs> <laughs> the headline's almost enough to get a gist of this, but Disneyland Bridge breaks after a man allegedly jumps onto it to show children it's safe, <laughs> which uh, is just the height of irony. That's um, the uh, original one, right? The um, it's the, uh, Los, wooden, Los Angeles, what, yeah, in Anaheim. That's the original. What happened to the guy? Is he all right? 
One plank bridge, uh, wooden plank on a bridge in Disneyland reportedly broke on Sunday afternoon. The plank was part of a suspension bridge that sits three stories above the ground as part of Tarzan's treehouse attraction. Right. Um, Oh, that's a cool one as well. So the dude jumped on it uh, in efforts to show his children the bridge was safe. And it broke and he fell down and died. Um, No visitors were injured and the treehouse was closed immediately after. The treehouse was reopened as of Monday afternoon. It was kind of a nothing story. It's just... So if he died, we would have never heard this story. It wouldn't have made the news. And they I guess not. Yeah, I guess. Like money, you say, that's a good sure point. I mean, maybe he did there. die, and that she's an actor now. Are but does, yeah. that's uh, it's gonna look like of that guy. <laughs> it's sinister that that can happen, right? That somebody well, can pay enough money to get something not in the news. Well, yeah, of course. So, like, when I mean, you're watching Jesus. the news, you see like these stories or whatever. You think, what, what are through. they not telling us? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, also ones. like what, it was like that Amazon worker here about like a heart attack, right? That Amazon worker who had a heart attack and was just like left lying there for like an hour before yeah. anyone like noticed them they thought whereas, he was mandated break yeah whereas the week before he like messed up an order and they were down there in like seconds so yeah. like it shows you their priority I mean no. uh, you know obviously I'm just let him die paraphrasing <laughs> he what missed what a heard, box so. last week yeah yeah. the heart attack was caused by Amazon like, <laughs> give him a heart attack next <laughs> give week give him the old Caesar <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's gone, gone. Um, but yeah I think that's probably all we have time for today uh, we've covered a lot of stories. We've we learned did. a lot about, about Sips. Yeah, God, um, you guys really grilled me hard. Yeah. We certainly did. I mean, yeah. we could have gone good d- even deeper. I think you're only the second guest we've had on here. Right. Yeah, okay. we had Simon so, Clark before. And we grilled him pretty well. Okay. I quite like the grilling. A lot of science. Well, yeah. maybe try to have you guys on Triforce. Uh, maybe. It sounds like... Well, it'll be, it'll be sex force then, won't it? Ninja invites people Does around it? Christmas time. But oh. maybe we can do like... Who knows? Three on three would be a, a lot of voices. Yeah. Yeah. It would be like two street gangs meeting up together in a back alley. It'd be like a TTT without the Rap game. Battle. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. It'd be yeah. like a no holds barred. That'd be sick. Barbed wire cage. You should have one of those fights. What, yeah. a uh, cage fight? Cage yeah. fight would be We can arrange Three on sure. three. We can get on the roof. Yeah. TLC. Table Final chairs and That'll be the last thing we do before we slip into total irrelevance, right? Yeah. yeah. We'll go out so. with a bang. We're doing our well, own personal cage we'll have fight. A mud fight. Bare knuckles. You know, cage, yeah. <laughs> Let's fight. Three minutes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it catapulted Logan Paul and KSI into more things. I mean, they so. already had extreme fame before that. So it's like. What have we got to lose? We don't. Yeah, yeah. we have nothing to lose. Let's just <laughs> yeah. do it. Let's bloody do it. Yeah. Um, Let's go cage fighting. But yeah, as of this podcast, thank you very much for watching and listening. Um, thank you to the Patreons yeah. who support the podcast. Uh, you can do. Really you can happy with you guys. Also support us. Patreon.com forward slash hat films. You'll Check get out Sips. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. It's- big thanks to all the traders who are watching this. Who <laughs> be. Uh, you're all banned. <laughs> <laughs> and your tw- your stream is twitch.tv forward slash sips underscore that's it couldn't Go- get slash sips or wanted sips underscore uh, no I think sips was taken I took sips underscore and happy with that can't be bothered Just, changing it there so. it is yeah. yeah cool I think it goes to a dead channel what sips underscore yeah no, we know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. thanks for watching everybody thank Indeed. you bye. Uh, bye we'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye It's a song again.